In recent decades, we've become aware of a terrible threat. A threat so terrifying and catastrophic, it has the potential to wipe out our entire civilization. But what's interesting is that we may not have been the first to realize this, because evidence suggests our ancestors were also acutely aware of dangers from the sky. So how were the ancients terrified of something that we've only recently understood? And what if their superstitions were actually memories? Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Michael. I have a degree in ancient history and on this channel, we discuss the unexplainable mysteries of our past. Let's get into it. Since long before recorded history, humans have always been fascinated by the sky. The stars weren't just distant flickers, they were stories, gods and guides. Across the world, ancient cultures built megalithic architecture precisely aligned with celestial events. The sky was their compass, their calendar, even their code of morality. But one particular aspect of our cosmic environment has inspired one emotion above any other. Doom. Fear the end of times. Throughout history, comets have almost always been considered to be bad omens, a message from the gods foretelling disaster, impending doom and death. A bright comet in the sky wasn't something pretty to look at. It was a sign that the day of judgment was at hand, that disasters such as earthquakes, famine, floods, storms, drought, poor harvests, epidemics and war would soon occur. In Native American, Greek, Norse, Hindu and Aboriginal myths, we hear of fire serpents, flaming chariots and gods hurling down fire from the heavens. In fact, even the word disaster comes from this fear, from the Latin and Greek roots meaning evil star. But if you think about it, that's kind of strange. Ancient people presumably didn't know what comets actually were. To them, it was just a bright glowing streak in the sky, beautiful even. So why did it almost always mean doom? Why were these signs met with fear, not wonder? Why was it never seen as a good omen? Because here's the thing, Comets don't look scary unless you know what they're capable of. It's only in recent decades that our understanding of the danger of comets and asteroids has truly emerged. New scientific data has made it abundantly clear that we, to put it mildly, live in a shooting gallery. In the 20th century, we thought space impacts were rare, once in a million year flukes. But we've come to realize that Earth is constantly dodging bullets. Our planet is hit by 110 meteor showers every single year. And since 2000, dozens of airbursts have been detected in our atmosphere that release energy comparable to nuclear explosions. The threat of impacts only really hit the public imagination around the turn of the millennium, when it was revealed that an asteroid struck Earth around 66 million years ago, wiping out the dinosaurs. Although this idea was first met with fierce criticism, it is now widely accepted that the devastation and climate disruption resulting from this impact was the primary cause of a mass extinction of 75% of plant and animal species on Earth. This revelation shifted our thinking on the threat of cosmic impacts. It became a real problem, worth taking seriously. However, I feel it's still somewhat underappreciated just how vulnerable we are. It's estimated that every year, Earth is hit by 6,100 meteors large enough to reach the ground. That's 17 every day. In 2013, the Chelyabinsk meteor exploded with the force of 30 Hiroshima nuclear bombs and injured over 1,200 people, with no warning. Even scarier, in 2021, an asteroid passed closer to Earth than even our own satellites, but we only noticed it after it flew by. The 1908 Tunguska event flattened 2,000 square kilometers of forest. If that had hit a city, it would have killed millions. NASA reports that Earth is directly in the path of around 500,000 asteroids and comets, but terrifyingly, they don't know the location of 498,000 of them. The vast, vast majority are untracked and could potentially hit at any time. Despite this threat, global preparedness remains shockingly low. In 2016, a NASA scientist warned that Earth is woefully underprepared for an impact. In 2018, the B612 Foundation reported, it's 100% certain we'll be hit by a devastating asteroid but we're not 100% sure when. And later that year, the US National Science and Technology Council warned that America is totally unprepared for an asteroid impact event. We live in a shooting gallery, but we're barely looking up. So now we're just beginning to understand the threat and more importantly, the frequency of cosmic impacts. Is it possible that us humans could have been hit before, way back in our deep past?
Modern humans have been around for at least 315,000 years, so it's very likely Earth has been hit multiple times while we've been here. Scientists have defined a global catastrophe to be an impact that leads to the death of at least one quarter of the world's population. An impact capable of causing such a catastrophe is estimated to occur about once every 100,000 years on average. So theoretically, this should have happened three times already during our human past. However, NASA estimates that smaller but still city-flattening impacts like Tunguska happen only every few thousand years. But here's the thing, most comets and asteroids don't leave craters, they explode in the atmosphere, vanishing without a trace. That means the number of actual impacts is orders of magnitude higher than what we see in the geological record. So in the last 300,000 years, it's likely Earth has been bombarded by dozens, if not hundreds of impacts, many of them violent enough to devastate entire regions and severely disrupt the world's climate. So bearing this in mind, could these myths, this ancient negative perception of comets, hold some great truth? Are they perhaps a cultural memory, a warning of a disaster that occurred deep in prehistory that we've simply forgotten? Myths are often viewed as little more than fairy tales, but researchers are discovering something oral cultures have always known, that these legends contain scientific information about nature, survival, and detailed knowledge of past geological and astronomical events. In 2004, a tsunami on Boxing Day swept across the Indian Ocean, killing thousands. One of the areas hit hard was the Andaman Islands. Scientists feared the indigenous islanders here would have suffered heavy casualties, as they had no warning of the impending wave, but to their surprise, all but one of the indigenous communities survived. When probed further, the islanders told them of a legend in their culture that said if the ocean rapidly receded, they needed to get to high ground so they would not succumb to the huge waves that would eat men. Their adherence to this legend saved their lives. The one community that did suffer heavy casualties had been converted to Christianity, and many of their oral traditions were lost. In fact, the scientific nature of oral traditions has prompted a new field of academic study to emerge, known as geomythology. The basis of the discipline is that geological events such as earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions and impacts have been incorporated into myth and legend by the peoples that experienced them. So bearing this in mind, is it possible that this worldwide fear of comets comes from a real catastrophic event that has only survived through legend? What's interesting is that in recent years, a growing team of scientists have made a shocking and controversial proposal. They say that around 12,800 years ago, a fragmented comet or asteroid slammed into Earth, triggering massive wildfires, rapid sea level rise, and the sudden collapse of ecosystems. Now, we know there was a serious climatic event at this time, called the Younger Dryas, and this impact hypothesis could explain why it's happened. The Comet's research team argued that three puzzling mysteries from this period are best explained by a cosmic impact. Firstly, a sudden return of Ice Age temperatures. After about 1400 years of warming, temperatures suddenly plunged 10 degrees Celsius at this exact time. This is the most dramatic and unusual cooling event in about 2 million years. Secondly, this time saw the mass extinction of large animals, called megafauna. Tens of millions of animals went extinct, including mammoths, mastodons, and saber-toothed tigers. The last extinction event of this scale was more than 3.5 million years ago. And thirdly, this exact time saw a sudden major change in human life. Human population levels plunged by about 30 to 60 percent. All three of these mysteries occurred roughly 12,800 years ago. How can that be coincidental? Now, the team has put forward lots of evidence to support their claim, which I'm not going to go into now, but is very interesting, and you can find in detail on their website, which I'll link down below. But it's fascinating to me that a scientific movement is growing around the possibility that we got hit at this time. Because this time, 12,000 years ago, is very interesting, and why that is all comes back round to myth. Perhaps the most famous legend from ancient times is Plato's story of Atlantis. In Timaeus and Clitias, Plato recounts knowledge passed down to him from Athenian lawmaker Solon of a lost city, Atlantis, that was destroyed due to natural disaster. Plato gives a very detailed description of Atlantis, right down to the measurements and structure of the city. Odd, considering this was supposedly philosophical allegory. 
But the most fascinating aspect is that Plato gives a precise date for the destruction of the city, roughly 12,000 years ago, exactly the time the comet's research team are proposing we suffered an impact. Another fascinating Greek myth is that of the fall of Phaethon. Phaethon is the son of Helios, who took his father's chariot but drove it too close to the earth, burning it. Many researchers have interpreted this myth as telling of a comet impact. Just look at this passage. Phaethon, with his hair on fire, fell headlong like a shooting star. Or this one. The moon saw with astonishment her brother's chariots running beneath her own. Or this. The clouds begin to smoke. The mountaintops take fire. Great cities perished with their walls and towers. Whole nations with their people were consumed to ashes. In fact, in Plato's description of the Atlantis story, he outlines how it was recounted to Solon by an Egyptian priest, who prefaced the story by saying, There have been and will be again many destructions of mankind. There is a story that even you, the Greeks, have preserved, that once upon a time, Phaethon burnt up all that was upon the earth and was himself destroyed by a thunderbolt. Now this has the form of a myth, but really signifies a declination of the bodies moving in the heavens around the earth, and a great conflagration of things upon the earth, which recurs after long intervals. Does this not sound like a precise description of a comet impact? Finally, there's the mystery of Gebekli Tepe. This mysterious megalithic temple is dated to just after this supposed comet impact may have happened. And interestingly, a paper written by researchers at the University of Edinburgh proposes evidence that a key function of Gebekli Tepe was to observe meteor showers and record cometary encounters. Using astronomical software, they argued that the carvings could represent constellations and encode a date of around 12,800 years ago eerily close to the timing of the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis. In other words, the builders of Gebekli Tepe may have been recording a world-altering impact event that they witnessed as a warning for the future. Now obviously this is speculative, and I'm by no means saying that some myths and some carvings are proof that a comet hit Earth around 12,000 years ago. But isn't it interesting that modern science and ancient myth are lining up in this way? Is it possible that a cosmic impact wiped out a human society at this time, and the only memory we have comes in the form of fragmented legends? Whether you think this is true or not, one thing is for certain. We are very vulnerable to the threat of cosmic impact, and it's only a matter of time before Earth Earth gets hit again. And maybe just maybe, if the Comet's research group are proved right, these myths may start to look less like legend and more like memory, and we may start to take this threat more seriously. Thanks so much for watching, I just launched a brand new Discord server, so check that out if you want to talk more about stuff like this. Sign up to my free email list for bonus content, and as ever, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel.